the person who actually prayed for me to have a child, and I never knew it was time for her to go, was my mother-in-law. She was the one who came to me when she saw that there was difficulty in having children. This is why I don't understand it when a woman, a mother-in-law, does not take her daughter-in-law as her real child. And I don't get it when a daughter-in-law does not respect mama as her real mother. Let me show you something. Can I have a man, a young man, and a woman, three of you come. Let me show you quickly something. And then three of you come this way. Okay, choose a name. What's your name? Mr. And Mrs. James. James. So this is Mr. James. This is Mrs. James. And this is Charles James. Right? Now, this is Mr. Emmanuel. This is Mrs. Emmanuel. And this is Chioma Emmanuel. Now, all of a sudden, one day, Chioma came to the church. And Charles. Charles, they met each other and they decided to get married. He's been admiring her. It's not wrong to admire a lady. It's only wrong to sin. It's not wrong to say I love you. It's only wrong to sin. And so for some reason, they fell in love. And when they fell in love, they fall in love, but stand in love. So he went back and told his parents, one thing led to another, and both of them decided to get married. And here is Pastor Chioma as the officiating minister that is about to join these two people in holy matrimony. And on that day, you see this mommy, Chioma's, um, um, what's your name again? Chioma's mother. Hey, watch every wedding and see the gale of the bride's mother. It's always louder than that of the groom's mother. Now you see her celebrating, dancing, beaming with all smiles and inviting people. You know what she's doing without knowing? She is telling everybody, come and join me because Chioma wants to throw our name in the gutter. She doesn't want to answer our name anymore. She has actually found her real home. So please come and escort me so that Choma will drop our name and take on this name forever. That is the meaning of wedding. And on that day, these two people were brought together and they were joined in holy matrimony. And immediately, their name became Mr. and Mrs. What? James. So, you can go back. God bless you. Their journey has ended. Now, this is Mrs. James. And this is Mr. James. And this is Charles James. This is the new member of the family. Chioma James. That's where she's going to live until the rest of her life. That's where she's going to have children. When she dies in her old age, that's where she's going to be buried. Her generation continues here. Her mother was only praying. Why is it that at the age of 23, 24, the woman is praying and going to pastors? I want my daughter to get married. Does it mean she doesn't love her? Oh no, she absolutely loves her. But now she has come to realize that she doesn't belong here anymore. This is her new home. So why won't she belong? Your real daughter for every woman who has a son, your real mother is your daughter-in-law. Whether she has come or she's about to come. So Mama Naomi, don't kill her. Don't destroy her. Don't show her wickedness because she doesn't have a child. You are actually supposed to carry her on your laps and begin to pray for her like my mother-in-law did. And then for Choma, this is your new mother. She wasn't the one who gave birth to you from the one. So she needs to understand you. Respect her. Every woman loves her son. No matter how much he tells you. Every man, sorry, loves her son. No matter how much he tells you, I love you more than anything. Not with his mother. So what does Choma need to do now? To begin to take this woman. This is her real mother. To take her in. Talk to her. If her mother can scold her when she does something wrong, her, real, her new mother can. So this is where she belongs. So are you a mother-in-law out there? Or are you aspiring to be one? Train up your son 
not just as your son but as a husband to somebody tomorrow are you a mother train up your daughter not just as your child but as somebody's wife and if you do that there's going to be peace harmony in the society so have i answered the question that for every woman who desire to get married your real mother is your mother-in-law to be and that is why it takes two to quarrel it takes two to make love together so if you don't want to quarrel then let love speak so this is the journey of every young lady who desires to get married and when you get married this is your new mother this is your new father and this is the home that you belong God bless you.